Hello everybody, Magazax here, the Volatile Gamer, and today I'm going to show you how to install Minecraft Vanilla Mods. I'm using Minecraft 1.2.5, but you could probably find mods for other versions as well, you just got to make sure they're compatible. So, a few disclaimers first. First things first, always, always, always back up your Minecraft folder. So, to do that, it's Windows key and R, type in, uh, type in percentage, app data, percentage and you could just go ahead right click the dot minecraft copy that and what I like to do is I'm going to show you here I have a folder just for minecraft backups I'm going to make a new folder in here and I'll label it as July 30th so whatever the date is perhaps I could even make it maybe add a little note so this is vanilla MC and I'll just put that in here Another good practice is if you have a backup or you're doing a backup with Minecraft that has mods on it, you can maybe make a new text document and add in the text document what mods there are. And that will be a little bit less confusing for you and more organized. It's good practice. Good practice. So let's get started. How to actually install a mod. Well, first thing you're going to want to know is that many mods need other mods to work and they need to be installed first. So an example is a mod loader. That's a very popular one. I'm just going to go to minecraftdl.com. Now there's many websites that have mods on them and forums as well, uh, so this is this is not the only website, but I like using this one. So it's Mod Loader. Like I said, this is basically a very popular prerequisite mod that you need before you can install other mods. So I'm going to go here and get that. And what that is going to do is going to give you a zip file, which you will then have to do some work with. So notice here, and this is why I like this website, is that always read the actual instructions for downloading. Very, very, very important that you do that. So that opens up an ad fly, and we'll just wait a couple seconds for that to come up. Now, I cannot be responsible if you lose your saved worlds and stuff, and that's why I cannot stress enough, please back up your stuff. I'll say, I'll say it a couple times, just, you know, because it's just that important. It's just that important. Alright. Oh, I already have it. Alright, so let's go see what we're going to do with that. What you need to do is go back to your app data and dot .minecraft. And it's inside the bin folder. You're going to see something here called Minecraft.jar. And if you don't see that, press the Alt button and go to Tools. Oh, go to Tools, Folder Options, the View tab, and deselect the checkbox for Hide Extensions for Known File Types. And you don't actually need to do that, but if you're wondering why you don't see the .jar, that's why. So go ahead and right click on that, and you're going to open with WinRAR. I use WinRAR, so you do need to have a zipping program. Okay, so go ahead and do that. I'll slap that over here. Oh. And then now we can go back over to our desktop and open up the mod loader that I downloaded. And we'll put that over there. And it's as easy as this. Just copy everything in. Click OK. And when that's done, you also need to delete the meta-inf folder. So I'll let you see the name of that again. This one right here. Get that deleted. Now, we can close all this, and every time you install a new mod, I recommend that you open up Minecraft and actually uh, make sure everything's working properly. And ex this is ex uh, especially important when you're trying to install multiple mods at once. You don't want to install three or four mods in one shot and then turn on Minecraft just to see that it's not working, uh, because then it's going to be hard to pinpoint which mod is causing a problem. Uh, so, th And that is another point, too, is that uh, you can't have unlimited mods, uh, eventually there will be compatibility issues where maybe one mod is trying to edit the same thing that another mod is. So, and another thing too is make sure you always don't uh, always shut your Minecraft before trying to install mods as well. So check this out before you leave. Uh, there's another way that you can uh, install mods, and this way is much much easier. So what that is is skydaz.com. And this guy here is pretty amazing, man. What he does is he, he finds popular mods and he creates installer packages for them. Now, to use these installer packages, you're going to have to have uh, Microsoft.NET Framework 4.0, but the download link is available on every single one of the, the pages on this website. So I'm going to go ahead and search for Minimap, Raise Minimap. It's a pretty popular mod, I guess you could say. And so we just scroll down here. So like you said, uh, like I said here, .NET Framework, you can download it here. And there's always going to be instructions if you need, so make sure you read those up. And you're just going to go ahead and download here the .exe. Now I already have that, so let's go and check that out. So once again, make sure your Minecraft is always closed, and just double-click, 
run if that pops up. Some of the installers that he has will offer you to back up your Minecraft. If you want to do that, you can, and I think it's in the uh, C drive if you do so. And just go ahead and click on Install Minimap, as you can see here. Very, very easy. Look at that. It's already done. That goes right to your .minecraft, and you can go ahead and run that up, and let's see if it works. So, unfortunately, I won't be able to to provide a lot of support for trying to get mods and stuff installed and and if you do want the support though I mean you could try to ask but uh, your best bet is to go to the actual mod author themselves and ask on their forums you know uh, you know get them to help you because you know there's so many different compatibility issues with mods that uh, you're gonna have to really be careful so as you can see here I have a nice mini map in the top right corner of my screen that's pretty awesome it's one of my favorite mods well one of them one of many so that's pretty much it. Um, one other note, if you're still uh, here and actually watching, is some mods will be installed a little bit differently. Um, for example, as you can see now, since I installed the mod loader, it added the mods and resources folder. And, uh, sorry, the mods and config folder. And some mods will actually get you to take all their files, uh, let's say these were, these were the files, and drag it into your Minecraft, like so, uh, where it's going to add stuff into the mods folder, it's going to add stuff into the config, or even into the resources and such. Okay. And usually when you install mods, even though I put it in the minecraft.jar file, once you actually run up Minecraft and it loads the mods, it adds it to the mod folder as well sometimes. Not all of them do, but a lot of them do. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, hopefully this was helpful for you. And if you want to see more on Minecraft modding, Minecraft tech hit play series, all sorts of stuff, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Once again, this has been Magus X, the Volatile Gamer. Have yourself a great day, guys, and peace out.